Hello, hello, dear viewers. A very warm welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to have a look at the function of the S and B on automatic transmission. It will help you understand how S and B modes are used in an automatic transmission. Well, there are different modes available on automatic transmission. Some of the common ones are listed here. There is a P mode where you want to park the vehicle. Once the vehicle is brought to a complete stop, you can engage P mode. This is where parking pole is inserted in a transmission slot and preventing the gear from moving. That can help keep the vehicle stationary. That is a P mode. R is the reverse mode when you want to go on a reverse. N is the neutral mode where you want to run the engine without engaging the transmission. When you want to do some maintenance on your engine without the vehicle moving, you can select N. Or when you want your vehicle to be pushed from a stationary position and relocate, you can also put it on N. That will disconnect engine from the transmission. Drive. This is D. D refers to drive mode. Drive mode is the most common way of driving your automatic transmission. This is used for moderate driving and moderate acceleration. Now, our today's video focuses on the S mode and the B mode. S stands for the sports mode, whereas B stands for brake mode. Now, what is the difference and when do we use S and when do we use B? What is the difference between S and D? That is what we are going to discuss in this video. So, on S, when you select S drive, when you select S mode, the transmission hold on to gears longer than when you use D mode. For example, if first gear is selected by the automatic transmission on S mode, the engine speed will be increased before it gets shifted to the next speed gear on S mode. On D, it shifts quicker. So the S mode allows the transmission to hold on to the selected gear longer. So shifting takes longer. Engine speed will be increased before the gear is selected. That is S mode. This will allow quick acceleration because on S mode, engine speed is increased compared to the D mode. Engine speed is increased on S mode. So it will allow quick acceleration and more responsive driving will result as a result of selecting the S mode. So when do we select the S mode? We usually drive on D mode. We usually put the transmission on D. When you want to select on S, you simply push the lever to the right. That will put it on S mode. So when do we use the S mode for driving? S mode is usually used when you want extra power. For example, when you want to merge onto a highway, you can put it on S. Otherwise, you can drive it on D, but when you want to that extra push, when you want that extra acceleration, you can simply put it on S like so. So, when navigating through winding roads, when merging onto traffic, you can always select S mode. By doing so, you can use that extra engine speed for helping you accelerate. And due to that extra engine speed, the vehicle will also be more powerful. So when you want more powerful drive, it, it, you better put it on S than put in, putting it on D. D has relatively lower power than S, but when you put it on S, you will receive extra power, extra boost to accelerate quickly. And whenever, for example, when you are driving on a hilly train, when you are driving on a hilly road, you better select S because that extra engine speed will accelerate your vehicle and give it extra push. So that is the sports mode. Now let's go to the B mode. This is the B mode. When you push it like so, it will be on the brake mode. Now the brake mode, the B mode, it will help to slow down. When you want to slow down and maintain control of your vehicle, you can select the B mode, especially on steep descent. When you are descending on steep, you can select the B mode. What, what does it help? Using this engine braking, it will use engine braking by putting the transmission on the B mode. You will be using engine braking and that will help reduce the vehicle speed. So if you are descending a hilly road, if you are descending downhill, 
without using your foot brake, you can reduce the vehicle speed. By doing so, you can reduce and control the vehicle speed. It will help you prevent early failure of the brake. It will help prevent overheating of the service brake. So by selecting this, by putting it on B mode, you are using engine braking. So that is the function of the B mode. B mode is used for engine braking. When descending a steep hill, switch to B. If you are previously driving on S or if you are previously driving on D, when you want to use the engine brake, simply shift it to B. That will help you maintain reduced speed. It will help prevent brake overheating and it can also be useful for stop and go driving. If you are driving in a stop go a stop and if you are uh, in a stop and go drive where you need to frequently apply the foot brake that will cause brake fade and that will cause brake overheating so you can use the B mode instead of using frequent frequent service brake so that will help a smooth deceleration of your car so this is the function of the brake mode now there are some things that you need to note when using these two modes. One is use S mode for acceleration, for sporty drive. So you can use the S mode when you want to accelerate, when you want that extra push and when you want that extra boost from your engine, you can use the S mode. And switch to the B mode whenever you are driving downhill. Whenever there is heavy braking required, you can always switch to the B mode. Now always remember S mode has increased fuel consumption because of that increased engine speed and because of that increased uh, engine output S mode the sports mode has additional fuel consumption when compared to the D mode so fuel consumption will be increased when S mode is selected so these are the differences and the different operating modes on an automatic transmission in this video, we have looked at the sports mode and the brake mode. Sports mode is for accelerating, for boosting your vehicle, for merging onto high traffic. All that on merging on a highway, all that can be used. Uh, S mode can be selected. Brake is, the so brake mode is for decelerating. If you are driving on a very sloppy train, when you are descending, you can always select the B mode. That is like using an engine brake on an automatic transmission vehicle. Besides that, for normal, ordinary driving, it is advisable to put it on D like so. Put it on D, and whenever you need extra push, just put it on S. When you are done merging to highway, for example, you can switch it back to D, and that is the difference between these speed modes. So this is how the automatic transmission modes are different. And this is how they operate. Well, dear viewers, that is all we have for you regarding understanding the S and B modes on automatic transmission. If you like this video and if you find it has helpful, please smash the like button. And if you do, if you are new to this channel, do consider subscribing and turn on notification so that you will be the first to get notified whenever we come up with another video. Until then, stay safe.